the loneliness is is so deep, you know, I can feel it in my bones. My husband passed away in October, so I am by myself. It's very difficult. I miss the people. I just miss that interaction every day. Hi, is this Joe? Is this Miss Lucy? Hi, is this Patrick? Uh, yes, who's calling? Hey, Patrick, this is Delvin. I'm a volunteer for Cox. I'm calling to see how you're doing today. Oh, <laughs> uh, not, not too well. Hey, Joe, this is Eric. I volunteered to check in with you. How you doing? Oh, really? I haven't been checked in since I was 16 years old, <laughs> but I'm here. Doing my part, I'm staying home. It's just me and my dog. Talk to her, but she doesn't talk much back. I'm all alone. I haven't talked to anybody at all. Tomorrow is a big day, you know, it's my birthday. But I'll be alone. I'll be alone. You're not really alone. I have four children, but none of my children live in Ohio. I have three kids. I've got like 25 grandkids. I, I'm 92, so you know I got a whole lot of great grandchildren. You know, you I don't sound born. 92. <laughs> don't talk too long. I'll be falling asleep. <laughs> Anytime I've had trials in my life, I've found something positive to come out of it. Yes, Lord, the silver lining. I wanted to say happy, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. I was so excited to call you. I'm a blessed old lady. I haven't talked that much for a long, long time. We really appreciate it. I share things with you that I haven't shared with anybody. So I don't feel like I'm all alone anymore. I want to thank you for that. It's a brotherhood. You're not alone. You don't know how much this means to me. Thank you, Gary. And same time tomorrow. Same time tomorrow.